Nicholas Ercolano of Big Dogs Gotta Eat here, and welcome to my landlord's crib, but we're gonna go up to my apartment. Uh, this is the front door, make sure you don't get any address on here. Uh, this is where like the UPS guys ring every apartment number and just so they can get into the building if it's an apartment. Number five package, I get rang at my thing. And it, there's gonna be a theme of this tour. It's gonna be things that make me really angry in this building. Uh, here's like a perfect example. The guy comes in and just chucks it, but someone straight up just like opened the box and was like, I, it's not valuable enough. I guess I'll give it to the person who ordered it. It's not for us. Should we take it? Just kidding. A lot of nice like plants and stuff. It's cool. <laughs> this is where, this is where my cunty landlord is. <laughs> that wants to kick us the fuck out of the building. She lives here. We live on the next floor. See, you know what I respect about her? She's always vlogging. Very important. Secured by AUT. Don't know what that means. Maybe that's why the cops. Did I tell you about the cops coming at three in the morning last weekend? DJ did. Yeah. It was like I was in the middle of sleeping and then came back. Right, anyways. Uh, welcome bike. I don't know why this one always gets thrown over here. It's fucking stupid. This is the new headquarters. We haven't officially given you guys a tour yet. So we're gonna do that. When you walk in, you see basically the entire place. On the end of the video. Uh, so we have the living room, the large living room with a big exposed brick. Uh, exposed brick is a big theme in New York, you'll see. I'll close the door behind you, Mr. Tony. If you slap exposed brick basically on any piece of shit apartment, it's really no longer a piece of shit. It gives you, uh, I'm not gonna pretend like I know home decor, but I really like exposed brick. So we're gonna go with exposed brick. We just got this table in today. I uh, was really hoping that it would be big enough to film Fade the Public at, and I've realized it's not even big enough for Animal to sit at by himself. That's gonna be a problem. We have a really nice open kitchen area. No one ever fucking cooks in New York, so it really doesn't matter. But this is probably my favorite part of the apartment. The outside, two foot by two foot balcony. Uh, I do some light reading out here. Drink my espressos. I'll do some work out here. I really don't do anything out here. You can't really fit out here. But it was really cool the first time we saw it. I was like, oh, we get outdoor space in New York, which is hard to come by. There's a there's a rooftop upstairs that we just got banned from yesterday as well. So realistically, we're just getting banned from everything in the apartment building. See, here's the problem. Like, it's really hard to get down from here. There's a little like step stool, which is difficult unless you're like a fucking four year old ballerina. And every time I jump down, I get a text from my landlord. Why are you thrashing and thumping? So I have to be like, I have to do like, I'm gonna attempt to do an arm roll. I've never actually done that. You know in the movies for when they tell you like, the only way to land is like to hit it and do a roll with it? Okay, um, here's what I'm gonna predict. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna fuck it up, and then within, while we're still filming, I'm getting a text from the landlord. When is our next party event? I will say, I will, we'll come into the bathroom. We've got the best selfie apartment that I've been in in New York. Like every time girls come here, they spend like 45 minutes just taking selfies of themselves in that mirror. Great fucking mirror. So you like do it, you can get like six or seven friends in it together and it's a cool fucking Instagram story. Whatever. This is our bathroom. This is a cool bathroom, uh, but it very rarely works. Like the lights are working right now, which is nice. And every time I tell her the lights don't work, she tells me it's a light bulb problem and they're all like fucking, it's like a disco party in here. And I'm like, clearly it's an electrician, a technician fucking pro, whatever the word is for it. Uh, and because we have parties here sometimes, she just blames it all on us. You know, I'm like, oh, there's like clearly a leak coming from the roof. And she's like, well, let's change the light bulb. It's like when you were in like middle school and you have like a bone sticking out of your arm and the nurse would be like, here, take an ice pack. That's pretty much the situation we're in with our landlord at all times. So very unfortunate, but the bathroom's kind of cool. We have a washer and dryer, which is, huge in New York. Listen, people outside of New York are not gonna understand how crucial this is. This is a washer and a dryer in one, which actually fucking stinks, uh, because really small, can't even wash my own fucking blanket in because the blanket's too big. 
Um, so everything I said about it being awesome having it's like really not true. But these bowls are cool, even though they're awkwardly hot. Creep over. When we first moved into here, there was no uh, there was no thing here. So like the first three or four days, every time we showered, there'd be people back there, like in the, in the court back there, just seeing my whole ass. And I was like, they better have to pay extra for rent to see that. Then we got one of these, unfortunately. I thought we should have just free balled it and went no, uh, no curtains or anything. But you can get to the little outdoor balcony here as well. It's a really weird setup. Like, I don't know who, who, what kind of fucking architect put this thing together, but it's fun. It's fun if you like to prance around like me. So we're still figuring the rest of the room out, obviously. We have the couch. Uh, for all of you guys, I, everyone always asks about the couch every time we do a Why Yell on Our Fade the Public episode. I'll link the couch down below. A lot of you fucking broke boys won't be able to afford it. Honestly, don't buy it. It's like way too comfy. You just start sinking in. If you have a movie room in your house, if you have a movie room in your house, one, like you you can afford a way better couch. So actually, it's a dumb point. Bean bag, I want to get the fuck rid of this thing. Um, serves no purpose. It just takes up a lot of room. We record Why Yell on back there. All the wires, the fucking TV, a bar. I don't know. We're like still moving in, and I feel like we're gonna be moving in for 12 months until our lease is up. And then, and then, and then, this is my bedroom. I know everyone always says like, oh, this is where the magic happens, right? Like, not really. Like, if, if magic happens in the bedroom, then this is fucking House Hufflepuff. Is that a Harry Potter house? That's like the bitch ass Harry Potter house, though. Like, no magic happens. It was a fucking joke that I had to explain, so it was a terrible joke. But just come into my fucking room. All right, this is where I film my videos in which you guys watch usually, see? You guys think I got a brick wall. That's fake news. Like, come back, come from over here, Tony. Show them what this shit looks like. This is actually what my wall looks like. This is wallpaper. Me and Steve tried to pull it up one day, as you can see. There's a big division here. And I think about it way, way too, I try, I try, really tried to fix it too. I was pulling apart like one eighth inch pieces of tape to try to like fucking, I think I'm like Pablo Picasso over here. Uh, this is where I make my videos. I actually just put this together today. So we, we don't have a fucking ounce of storage in this place outside of like my closet in my room. And then uh, this is, this is uh, a piece of art in very high demand. I've had many people come in here and try to offer me many different currencies, dollars, pounds, rupees, uh, Ethereum, almost took that one. But I think it's a staple piece of, uh, of the bedroom. I've been coming, you know, you guys have watched my vlog, so you know I'm a plant father now. This is, this is a stand, if you remember from a couple weeks ago. We've got plants all over the place. We've got real plants, we've got big plants, we've got fake plants, we've got fraud plants, we've got all kinds of fucking plants. I don't really know anything about art, so like I just know I need to fill my walls. And then we've got the welcome bike sign that you guys saw. Are you ready? One, two, three. See, this is why, if you guys are watching now, you know how it flashes in the backgrounds of my videos? And I tell you guys that I did it on purpose. Didn't do it on purpose, I just don't know how to use this thing. My trusty whiteboard, which I never, like, like, why would I, like, why would I put it here? You can't really, like, yeah, I can't access it. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. I should've put it over there, or literally fucking anywhere else. We got our chandelier. It was worth a few thousand dollars. I requested that they had that put in before I moved in. I was like, I don't move anywhere without a chandelier in it. Of course, they granted my request. So this is like really the only storage in the entire place. So we've just shoved every fucking item that we own in here. Basketball hoops, rest in peace. I wonder if I could sell this. Does anyone want, you know, this is like a grab bag, you know how like, uh, what do people sell? They sell like boxes of baseball cards. They're like, oh, you don't really know what you're gonna get. We're gonna send you a lot of them. If anyone wants to buy a box of wires, I would say 55% of them probably don't work or expired or will electrocute the fuck out of you. I'll do it. There's even sunscreen in here. There's a pizza holder, Yannick. Thank you for that. A little fuzzy mic. There's actually some good shit in here. I probably feel like this is worth a few million dollars. So if anyone wants to name a price in the comment section, I'll just send this to you. You have to pay for shipping though. Garbage and recycling doesn't come often enough. I order like four, I, I order more Amazon packages than I actually shit per day. So the problem with New York is recycling comes once a week and we forget about it most most weeks. So by the time the next week rolls around, we have like 45 new packages. Like 
What, what's today, Friday? We recycled, yeah, we recycled on Wednesday, and this is already our new boxes, it's fucking 48 hours later. So we have the stack of boxes, garbage everywhere. Like I said, like I knew this, this whole tour would just be me complaining the whole time. There's just so much fucking nonsense that happens in this apartment. It's very much like the last place. The only, <laughs> there's actually, I don't even think there's anything edible in here. There's literally, this is fucked up. This is like, uh, I cook bacon, and then I pour the grease of the bacon into a thing, and I use that as oil. Like, instead of olive oil or spray, just use bacon oil. Lemons, hella almond milk, a couple of bees, a couple of fucking bees for the fucking boys. I'm sorry, I don't know why I did that. What the fuck is this? Where did TJ go last night? I feel like he went on a date in the ocean. I don't know. I don't want to touch that. I feel like I'm gonna get COVID just from looking at it. Yeah, so, so cold brew. It's actually embarrassing showing my fridge every time this happens on video. Fuck, fuck you, Steve. I already know what you're saying. That's really it. That's, that's the HQ. We got a big ass living room with some brick. We got a fucking bathroom that doesn't work. The lights don't work. My ass cheeks are out in the shower. We got a balcony that's like one foot diameter. Can't have more than one person out there in my room, which it's fake. It's fake. It's all the walls are fake. They're all fucking fake. Everything's fake. You're fake. You're a fraud. I'm done. I'm fucking done. That is, that is my crib, and I'm fucking sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm moving. To f Drop your best suggestion for where I should move after this. I'm doing it next year when this lease is up. All the all those times you guys tell me to move out of New York, and you're like, get out of New York, stop paying taxes or whatever, and I'm always like, fuck off. No, 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 no. I'm doing it now, all right? Tell me where to move and I'll do it. Idaho, fucking Bali. Where did Corona start? Forget what that city is, but I'm fucking moving there. I can't imagine what kind of place I could live in, in that place. Where, it, where did it start? I, want, I feel like I'm gonna say like the wrong place and then people are gonna be like, you're racist. So I'm gonna not even attempt to try to say it. But wherever it started, whatever we pay for this, if I put it into there, I feel like legitimately I could probably own half the country. But instead, I own half a fucking bean bag and half a table. Ten minutes ago, landlord, what was that thrashing now? Told you, I told, I know this woman. I know this woman. I'm probably gonna end up marrying this woman. That's how much I know her. What was that thrashing now? So let us fucking live. Should I just tell her we're throwing a rager? Tell her to come up, come through, baby. I knew it was gonna happen. I said I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna fucking stick the landing, and then she's gonna text us. It would have been funny if I had my phone on me and she texted us immediately. It was 10 minutes ago. All right. Anyway, sorry. I just need to throw that in at the end. <laughs>